What's going on, ninjas? Another day, another day. So here we are doing a bunch of shrubbery. This is the property that you guys most likely will recognize. Only the loyal ninjas know. So we're doing shrubbery again. Touched up that crepe myrtle down there. I got this one right here to touch up. Some couple of pumpus grasses, all those uh, shrubs down there. And then we got to pick everything up and uh, that's going to be it for today. We don't really have anything else going on except that. Brando the Commando. What's up, buddy? How are you, man? I'm good. You awake? Yep. You sure? Yeah, I'm waking up. All right, all right. <laughs> How's pizza behaving? Oh, uh, he's not doing his best behavior today. He's not doing his best behavior today. Excuse me? <laughs> we've, been here, on the we've been here 30 minutes and we've already done 90% of the job. Is he spitting on the sidewalk? He is. Peace. Peace. There's a road right behind you, man. Hey, man. Exactly. The road was behind me. Right. That was in front of me. No. Just can't do hey, man. Hey. Whoa, peace. Whoa, peace. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. All right. All right. Dude. Man. Dude. I was kidding. Calm down, bro. I was kidding. Really? <laughs> I was kidding. Chill out, dude. Really? You know, that's unnecessary. Thank you, Brandon. That's man. totally unnecessary, peace. I don't peace. know what we're going to do with peace. I don't know. Uncalled for. It's getting out of hand. That's no loyalty right there. <laughs> Try to get work done, man. <laughs> All right. He finally got that clamp on there. He didn't take the tape off. He put it on top of the tape so it's slippery. For security. Oh, okay. So what we're doing with this guys, as you know, we're basically gonna take it over there, and when they uh, finish trimming everything up over there. Uh, it'll uh, suck up a lot of the smaller clippings so we don't have to battle it and fight it in the wind with rakes Maybe we can pick up some of the bigger piles, but the small stuff this is very handy for that So I'm gonna start it up. And you're gonna carry the hose. And we're gonna go to that pile right there So while you guys are doing while they're doing that ninjas I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tackle this bigger crepe myrtle because I just finished that one over there and uh, that's it All right As you guys can see today, I did not bring the bumblebees. I wanted to have room here because I didn't want to bring the dump trailer. It's still full of dirt, but I'm going to, whatever we, uh, you know, have the clippings and all that, we're going to fill up the trash can. And if I need to throw any in here, I can. And tonight I'll burn it. But uh, I, I left these two on here. There's no need to take them out. I don't need any more room than what I have here. But the two bumblebees are definitely not here with us. So. I'm using my Coronas. The trailer is actually filling up slowly but surely. Let's see what Pizza's doing over here. I hear, I hear him using that pole saw, or I should say hand trimmer, a pole trimmer. Looks like he's got a lot of these touched up. They probably need a little bit more touches on the sides. But other than that, it looks good. We're not gonna mess with this one today. Looks like the new green ones are just coming in and uh, uh, there's a couple other big ones on the other side of the house that we're just gonna do the big ones next time we come and to mow and Because I'm actually kind of rushing today ninjas Nick, why are you rushing today? Well, I got a guy who's supposed to be heading this way to buy that old utility trailer. I had uh, ooh, I had put it up for sale and he finally contacted me and he's driving about an hour away and he's gonna go ahead and uh, and get it. I told him I'll text him. I'll text him right before, uh, you know, we're done here. So that way he can go ahead and leave and uh, we'll meet up. Um, and me and pizza will go together. And I'll try to record it. I'll try to do some footage if I can. If not, guys, then I'll just, uh, I'll tell you, you know. But yeah, so that's exciting selling the old trailer it it's a good trailer you guys see me put brand new axles got the brand new wood it's already got weed eater racks and blower racks they're not the best they're homemade but it works and i told him i said you can cut those off if you don't want them and do your own thing so uh we did a little negotiating and we uh struck a deal so i'll be excited once that is out of my driveway because i've uh, it's just sitting guys it's just sitting i, I got the enclosed trailer i got that one and then i have this one too many trailers at the house so 
Huh? A rake. A rake. All right. Awesome. You cleaned all that around it so I could finish that crepe myrtle. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Good job, Brandon. Thank you. Yep. Brandon's doing good. Hey, isn't this better than sitting on Granny's couch? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because Brandon is actually, or was sitting on Granny's couch. So, so yeah, I'll, I'm going to um, sell that, guys. And I think tonight I'm going to grill out. As long as the rain doesn't come in early. They're, uh, we felt a few sprinkles. And you can see, guys, it's just pretty cloudy. So, we'll see. They're calling for rain all day tomorrow, so obviously we're not working. And Which is good, I'm glad, because... I haven't shown you the final product of that um, driveway. So, and it's still really muddy and dirty from that day. So with the rain coming, I'm hoping it'll wash off a lot of that driveway and a lot of that uh, gravel. So definitely I uh, will show you that. If I don't do it Sunday, then I'll do it Monday or Tuesday. It was a good week. Overall, it was a good week. We got a lot done. We did uh, quite a few shrubbery jobs and um, mowing, and I got a couple of things already lined up next week. It'll uh, it'll be good. So, got a gutter job next week lined up, more shrubbery work lined up, mowing lined up. They are saying there's another cold front coming, which I think is what's bringing it, is this rain that's coming tomorrow. So... We may still have some colder weather just before the warm weather comes in and actually stays. Because it's been 80, you know, 75 to 80 degrees here, guys. Comfortable, not hot, but comfortable. And, you know, I think they're saying it's gonna be another cold front coming through behind this rain. <clears throat> but rain is good. Rain is, I always look at rain. It sucks when it messes up your schedule, but all, you know, I always look at rain as a uh, positive thing. So there was another lawn care company over here next door, right? And they were doing pine, pine straw. I'll show you. And they were doing pine straw and trimming some shrubs. And they just left. They just left. But they left their zero turn. Who leaves their zero turn in the middle of the yard? Now, the only reason, the only thing that I would think is they started to mow because the yard does definitely need to be mowed and it died on them you ready for this hold on I'm walking over see they did all that pine straw and they left their Husqvarna right here So yeah, they, uh, see they did all the pine straw and the grass needs to be mowed, but they left this Kohler 24 and it's a 54 inch. So guys, unless it's actually broken, I would never leave my mower like that. Not in the middle of the yard like that. I don't care. I don't think I could even leave it if it was broken. I'd somehow drag that thing on the trailer. But that's just me. I don't know. Isn't that weird? It was two guys, literally. They were. They did a good job on that pine straw. And I actually saw them. They drove off and they waved at us and we, we you know, waved back. But, come here. So you know those two guys that were doing the pine straw? Mm -hmm. Did you see them leave? They waved at us? I didn't see them wave, but I seen them leave. Okay, you seen them leave. They left their mower. I wonder why. Uh, the only reasonable or good explanation would be if the mower died. But I was telling uh, ninjas that even if it was a dead mower, I couldn't just leave it like right. that. I'd drag that thing on the trailer. Is there a key in it? Uh, I think so. I didn't look. Try to start it. 
No, I'm not messing with it, Pace. I know you're kidding, but who would? And the, the grass is tall. It needs to be cut, and it looks like they were starting to cut it, and it just stopped there. Yeah, because if they were gonna cut the grass, they would should have cut the grass before they did the pine straw. Yeah, but they left pine straw all over the road too. So they did. So I, well, right. I I'm sure they are. Maybe but they ran out of gas or something. No, I don't know. I'm sure they are, but then wouldn't you think he would leave one guy at the property? I would, especially with it being right there. I mean, that's not cheap, you know, that that's a zero turn, what man. It oh, it's a Husqvarna 54 inch, yeah. You're probably looking at two, three grand. Yep. So. Uh, will you look at those back ones and decide whether you can touch them up a little bit more or what? Why would I have to touch them up? I mean, explain yourself. Why would I have to touch them up? Because my arms are killing me. Well, take a break. I'm not going to do this fine, this public Yeah, take a break. I, I got to finish this crate myrtle up here. Right here they look fine, but the ones a little bit further down were just so weird shaped. You see that one sticking up? I see yeah. it from here. And these, they look good. I uh, maybe touch up a little bit on yeah, the sides. The right, and then we'll do the final blow off, but... I mean, take a break. I, I know that those things are, the pole trimmers are heavy. Yeah, you see that right there? Yeah. Like these right here, anything like this that's sticking out, it looks good. I see a couple of up here. And those over there, you might have to bring the A ladder and just stand on it. We don't want it going into the patio and into the... I mean, it looks great. Just a few little touch-ups, you're done here. Because these don't need much attention, we just want them controlled. See, stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, we're taking out two trees in here. The ones you planted? No, 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 that one big one that's oh. dead. And the one that I planted died, and so he wants to take that one out. See, I planted American Hollies, guys. We did, what, five, six of them? And out of five, six, this is the only one that died. It just didn't make it. It happens, you know. But there's two right behind it that are doing fine. They're actually growing. So we're taking that one out. No, he doesn't want nothing there. Just take it out. See, this one's doing good. Look, the new new stuff is coming in. It's beautiful. And he wants three over there, American Hollies. Over here where this one is? Yeah. We need to get that little escalator talking about. So what he wants to do, Pete, take this dead one out. And then he wants to put one, two, and then right where this, on the, on the side of this one, which this one won't be here, I'll be three. What we'll do is probably trim most of this off and leave enough footholds, and then I can climb up top. And, and just little sections at a time. And, push it mm -hmm. and so what I was thinking is rent that excavator. Yeah, and we can dig this up. And, and not only can we dig the holes for the other ones, we can dig the, uh, mm -hmm. the stump here yeah. as well. See, so yeah, I'll just uh, cut all this off and leave myself footholds to get up there. Mm -hmm. Or from a ladder. I'd rather do Once it you cut all these off, actually, you're going to need a ladder to go up, and as you're going up, you're cutting these off. Trust me. You're going to need a ladder. I'll just climb. I'll try it. Gorilla. I got to be like John, man. I got to try to be like John at least. Yeah. No, I can never be John. Nobody is like John. Nobody, nobody's like John. Johnny boy. Johnny Madman. Yeah, he is. So pizza's gonna try to go up that tree and get his scholarship. Mm -hmm. Climb that tree, not today. Not today. Eventually. Done? Not yet. Not yet. A few more piles. A few more piles. I'm about to make some more for you. Good job, buddy. Good job. You know, all of this could have been sucked up with the vacuum, right? That stuff could have, yeah. We'll it's cool. Up all the pompous grass. We'll that that, that can be vacuumed. Because if not, we're gonna throw it on the trailer and then piss everybody off driving down the road. People start getting salty. Good logic. Please. Salty. Yeah, people are getting salty. People are getting salty. Salty. They are. You know what's good to uh, drink uh, when you're too salty, right? Hmm. Oh, uh, what the, is it? the thing that flavors, um, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Yeah. yeah. Diet. Di oh yeah, diet, Dr. Pepper. You don't. You don't you want. Be on that diet. You don't want too much sugar, but you want diet because it has that aspartame sugar, the fake sugar, mm -hmm. what messes your mind up, man. Mm. Ever heard of that? Yeah. Spartame? It's fake sugar and it messes your mind up. Oh yeah. It literally, it literally affects the way you think, it affects the way you see, your eye vision, your, see, your regular speech. Dr. Pepper, regular Dr. Pepper. Well, at least it's got actual regular sugar. Regular Dr. Pepper would compensate for the saltiness. Yes. The, know, the diet Dr. Pepper. 
I've heard about the 23 flavors. Did you? It brings the haters. Oh. Time to go. <laughs> so this is uh, what's happening. Luckily, we just got done and the rain has arrived and it's supposed to rain all day, the rest of the day, all night, and all day tomorrow. But uh, we're done, right? We finished everything? Finished. And so that's good. The guy that's coming to get the trailer is on the way, which is great, which means uh, me and Pete's are gonna go back to the house, hook up the 2014 with that other trailer and get it ready. And when he texts me that he's arrived where we're meeting, then uh, we're gonna go and uh, sell that thing. So uh, that's it. Anything? That's it? That's it. it went pretty smoothly, didn't it? Yeah. It's not bad. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna conclude this with a uh, little extra extra special today. It's uh, only for the loyal ninjas, so uh, just stay tuned, and we'll be right back. So we want to tell you a real quick story, Peace. What, what tell them a story? Uh, tell them a story, Peace. Um, of you have a friend, yeah, who asked you <laughs> about me. Yep. Okay, and what was her question? We watched one of the videos one night. She, she was goes, watching one of the videos. So she's a she's a loyal ninja. Yeah, she, she follows. Goes, is he Mexican? I said, what? Mexican. She said, is he Mexican? I said, no, he's not Mexican. Why would you ask if he's Mexican? He looks Mexican. I was like, no, he's 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 European. So like, oh, there's no way he looks Mexican. I'm telling you, he's European. He's not Mexican. And then she said. I bet I bet she was thinking to herself. If he was my boyfriend, I'd never let him go. Don't you see he makes a big bucks and all he does is mow. All he does, all he does, all he does is mow. Special, special from Peace Peace. Yeah, let's go. See, it's raining now, and I can't be more proud that the hedge is done. Woo! See, we've been here for a few hours, and we had fun. Had fun! Woo! Until Mother Nature got pissed off and started pouring on our backs. Now we're in the truck, and we ain't never coming back. No! I'm tired of all the haters They drink that diet with the 23 flavors Woo! I don't understand why they're so salty, man Get off our backs and just be proud of a fellow <laughs> man We're making money, we're out here having fun Don't be jealous Salty. Woo! Nice. Hey. <laughs> Good job. Thank you for watching, ninjas. What a great way to finish the day. Maybe we ought to do this as a regular. What do you think, Brandon? I like it. You like it? Yeah. We ought to finish from now on with a guitar. Keep it in the truck piece. Or bring it with you every day. Pizza wants to keep going. We're the ninjas, yeah, that's right. We don't play, we get shit done right. <laughs> yeah! We don't drink the diet, Dr. Pepper. No, we keep it legit. <laughs> Legit. I'm not on a diet, so I drink the 23 flavors. Haters? <laughs> what? I'm trying to stay away from all the salty haters. Haters. Oh. Haters. That's a good one, man. Good job. That was great. That was awesome. Brandon, can you play? A little bit. Yeah, you know what? Let's see it. Let's 
see. All right, wow. He's putting. He's just putting you to the test. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't let many people play the guitar. Yeah, you know. so oh, feel special. Know. Let's see it. Dude, that's nice. I like that. I don't know what you're playing. Nice. I gotta learn that. D E minor C at nine G. Dude, bit. that was awesome. Good job, man. Thank you. I wish I could play the guitar. You can. You just gotta try. I mean, I mean, I would have to obviously just take I'm lessons and learn. Well, yeah, you are, but people, a lot of people take you know classes and stuff. But it's beautiful, you man. You can learn four chords and play thousands of songs. Really? If you were to learn, say, uh, A minor, a C, a G, and a D. There's hundreds and hundreds of songs you can play. Like I can play all those four chords. I can just do them in different orders. Wow. Hey, pizzas. I was gonna say something else. Hey, pizza place. <laughs> That's awesome. So welcome home, Coheed and Cambria. So hold on, hold on. Hold, hold it, hold, give it back, take it back. Oh. We got to do a little finishing. You know how we conclude our videos. You know how we ninjas conclude our videos, right? So thanks for watching. As always.